Alright, so fingers crossed will be my last Project Diablo 2 video. I mean, obviously Diablo 4 is starting in a couple days, uh, so the plan for me is to certainly head that way. Um, but I do want to cover my 200 FCR Sorceress. Um, so just kind of showing here, it's under the cash rate because I, I have the Griffins off because I didn't find a five, five facet before everything kind of died down. I only have one. Um, and so if I stick that on, it'll obviously make it 200 FCR. But I just wanted to show uh, my resistance being at 77 and 91 for lightning. So well over cap. Um, if anyone has questions on this build, that, that is always the hardest part. And it played out pretty well this season. Um, just the OK Griffins we got pretty early on in the season. I think I paid you know maybe a high rune for it. I don't even think pr probably that much. Uh, the real star of the show is my main songs this season, so I'm really happy with it. Um, I found that I guess it's a double uh, faster cash rate hit on the corruption. Um, I've seen a couple of these. I didn't look at the patch notes, but I guess this is a possibility. There's always been a possibility. This really opens up the build and allowed me to do um, some different stuff this season. Uh, really, I bought this to bring to Nightmare. Um, it is... Slightly better than my Nightmare one, even though there's just matching uh, negative five uh, plus three lightning damage on all of these. Um, I think there's a plus four in there to get it to ten. Uh, but the season was rolling down. We took the tears out of it for the mana after kill and uh, kind of moved some stuff around. But this is the real star of the show. I mean, negative 35. I mean, the only thing you could ask is it to be four open sockets. I personally like this better than the six open socket. Um, I know a lot of people really love those. My thing is, when you stack the conviction, when you stack the lower res, you're well over 100%. Uh, when we go to non-ladder, I have a much better Griffins that'll go on that already has facets in it. So, you know, that that negative lightning uh, pierce here is going to just be huge. Uh, if you factor in conviction, I think it's like 52 uh, based on the level 12. Um, so that's huge, not to mention lower resistance, you know, it's 12% cast. I think, you know, the one I have on uh, non ladder I think is 18 or 16, so it's slightly higher, but still you're looking at level 20. 12% is forever when you're 200 FCR. Um, the FHR is really the only struggle of this build. There's room, um, just to show the charms, like there's, you know, some resist all charms here those two are really nice this could be replaced pretty easy uh this one i absolutely love i would love to have all of these and then just a plus four plus four the annie slammed all resistance which was crucial to this season i got that pretty early on and slammed it i would love to have faster fhr uh, faster hit recovery for all the charms um obviously don't have it. i have a few on non-ladder uh we'll try and make some room there uh, Skin of the Viper Magi, you know, can't say enough good stuff about this. This is a plus 29 with two ums in it. That's what really, you know, makes a difference when you look at resistance and being able to make this build work. Um, I did get the Oculus this season. Just the 10% chance of blocking is not doing anything for me. Uh, just a random pair that I found or someone gave me um, at one point. Um, I have Lightning. Uh, Mage Fist on non ladder, which you obviously can't get anymore. I have 10 FCR, Mage or 30 FCR Mage Fist on non ladder. Uh, we got options there, but just something cool to just take to non ladder and give me some additional options. Uh, the amulet, um, it's not plus four, you know, it's, it's 10 FCR and it's three mana after each kill. It was fairly cheap. I would love a two sorceress, one all skill slam, 10 FCR with all res and man after each kill, but you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not even sure that's possible. Um, I think you have to get it as a slam for the man after each kill, but I uh, bid on a couple, you know, they're going 10 high runes. I didn't make 10 high runes this season. Uh, the most expensive thing you'll see here is the main song and it was four high runes. Uh, ring, I did get a wisp. Um, ended up kind of coming across it very late in the season so it is what it is i didn't trade around i didn't do anything stone of jordan with man after each kill would be ideal to me uh, i'm running a weird kind of maybe i run energy shield maybe i don't it only cost me one point build 
Teague odds, nothing crazy here. Uh, would have loved a faster cash rate one. Uh, would have, you know, been able to do two plus one rings. Just didn't didn't come across one for what I thought was a fair price. I think now there's some up for uh, one high room, which is probably pretty fair if you can get good strength on it. Uh, just didn't find that, and so I bought one with faster hit recovery because that at least gets me up a couple break points when I get hit. Ring, um, it's 10 FCR, 10 all res, three mana after each kill. Magic find mana, you know, nice to haves here. Um, not the greatest ring in the world, but it's all res. It's three mana after each kill, and it's 10 FCR, so that puts me over the break point. Uh, certainly got a nicer ring on non-ladder. We'll go there. The thing that hurts is no cannot be frozen. Um, obviously, there are things I can do here. Um, the way the build's set up, I don't need resistance on these boots. Uh, the mana after each kill is nice. I could buy Mara Walks, which I have on non-ladder, and I have mana after each kill ones, so I'm not going to buy any. So this is what I corrupted. Boots this season were great. I mean, I'm sure you guys, if you played it, you loved them. They were wonderful. Uh, just a random assortment of magic fine charms that you know I can stick on to get a little bit of magic fine. This build, I never stat magic fine. I don't do anything crazy there. CTA is nothing to write home about. Made it very early on. Um, found the ohm and said, hey, let's make one. Random two skill lidless. Um, couple of these. But what's really nice is this nine uh, mana after each kill. Uh, that really kind of helped out the build this season. Uh, skill tree is just one in warmth, and this is where I love the plus two, you know, sorcerer skills. One in energy shield, one in teleport, one in telekinesis, one in static field, one in nova, one in T storm, right, and max everything else. Uh, cold spills, we're just putting the rest of our points in chilling armor right now, knowing that if we get hit, it's at range. And just to show something real fast instead of me talking for the whole, you know, ten minutes or so. Like I said, I can run Energy Shield, can take it or leave it. I'm at 700 mana, and, you know, it it, it will absorb a lot, but it's going to cost a lot of my uh, mana there. And so I, I kind of just play with it when I want it. Uh, there's really no point in it. Just end of the season playing around, just trying some different stuff. But 24k on the sheet for Chain. Uh, Lightning ends up at just over 20k. So it melts LOD content. Um, I, I had much better luck in LOD content than I did anything else this season. And you see here, it's got great sustain at this point. I mean, obviously we're doing LOD. Um, it's pretty easy to kill monsters, but maps too. Uh, really getting that sustain. So shout out to uh, Borkus, I guess is his name. I don't know how to necessarily say his name. You see one of the reasons why I hate Energy Shield right there. Because I got hit and lost all my mana. Um, he helped me, you know, theory craft this a little bit more this season since we tried some different stuff. Really excited to bring this to non ladder. Um, I've got, you know, the five all res small charms there. You know, we can, we can play around with it. We can, you know, try and get some better stuff, but just melts LOD content. Really fun. Um, a lot of what we did was PS farm keys. Um, nothing that made a ton of money. Like I said, I didn't have great luck with maps. Uh, meth is still a bit of a pain in the butt. That's the only problem with this build. I actually finally got a PES from him. Uh, no streamer luck. We were trying for it though. Uh, and, and this is why I just don't like energy shields. You guys see, like I just lose all my mana when I get hit and it would, it would be totally shifting the build to do it and go any other way. But I, I just not super interested in that. Um, I understand like a lot of people like it, especially on this build where you don't have a block chance. Uh, well, you do, but it's super small. Um, and you, you know, don't want to stack resistance. You want to stack magic fine, or, you know, you want to, you want to group map and do, do things with your friends. I, I get it. Uh, we're mainly solo playing here. We're mainly rushing our friends. Um, what was I misclick there? You know, we're, we're leveling mainly through doing bell runs and chasing PESs and, you know, trying to say, hey, can we, can we help the economy, by you know farming um it's not as glorious but it, it'll do bell and it'll it'll melt you know cow maps and ends up being a relatively good time but i really just want to say at the end of this uh appreciate the project diablo 2 team um i know 
they end up being a butt of a lot of jokes. The server performance this season sucked. Um, if you played, you got a lot of server downs. You saw me make a video in frustration of uh, lo losing a Geeds pretty early on, uh, which would have been really helpful for my Magic Fine Bar. But, you know, everything everything's okay. Life moves on. It's a, it's a free-to-play game, essentially, right? Like, it's community-funded. Like, we donate for servers, and I'm sure those guys put up a lot of their time and money, you know, to keep this thing alive, and it was a great time, you know, met a lot of friends, uh, met a lot of people we'll go play Diablo 4 with, I don't plan on making videos with about Diablo 4, um, I think the theory crafting on it is going to be ridiculous, there are much smarter people than me uh, to try and theory craft it, and I'm going to follow a lot of their lead, and, you know, just hope to, hope to play and be somewhat relevant, and no PvP, but that's the build, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of your season if you're staying playing. If not, see you in D4.